Welcome to Oklahoma City, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Today, we will take you on a journey across cultures, experiences, and cowboy influence. The National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum is America's premier institution of Western history, art, and culture. I'm Cheryl Pickens, your American Dream TV host, and I'm gonna take you on a tour of the cowboy. to the Kerr Gallery. I am here with Michael Grauer, we call him Cowboy Mike, and we're gonna take a tour of an exhibit that's coming up. It's currently being installed, so you're gonna get a little bit behind the scenes, look at what is going into this. Tell us what your title is, Michael, what you do here, and tell us everything you know. I'm the curator of Cowboy Collections in Western Art. That's the shortened version of what okay. I do. Okay, yes, and so folks come in and you take them on tours? I do, okay. and I put together exhibitions, you publish things in the collection, especially get the word out on what the National Cowboy Museum represents. It was uh, actually the idea of a man from Kansas City named Chester Reynolds who visited the Will Rogers Memorial at Claremore and thought there ought to be a similar memorial to cowboys and what he called pioneers of the American West. And so he put together a consortium of ranchers, rodeo people, performers all across the, the West and there was a national competition to see which, which city would be the host site for this proposed National Cowboy Hall of Fame. Oklahoma City won in 1955, and the museum opened in 1965. Wonderful, and, it, and with that, it started. It's had a name change. What, did it, what was it originally known as? It was originally called the National Cowboy Hall of Fame and Western Heritage Center, and today it's the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. And we call it the Cowboy, and so I think that's a great uh, current way to think about it. And you mentioned the Hall of Fame, so there have been dozens of individuals recognized for their work in the cowboy culture, in, in industry, in media, and I've been to a, a couple of those induction ceremonies and it's electrifying when you see the culture of the cowboy has permeated nearly everything in what we enjoy today in entertainment and such. Specifically this installation, it's called? Playing Cowboy. Okay. And it actually capitalizes on the, the literally national and worldwide obsession with, with cowboys that was primarily a phenomenon of the 40s through the 1970s, where there were, you, you could not turn a channel without finding a TV Western. And so they created toys to go along with that obsession, and that's what we're showing here. So I hope everyone will join us in playing cowboy and reminiscing, because really, it's a way to time travel back to your youth or to take your, your current children or grandchildren to a place that they'd not been to see grandma and grandpa or mom and dad uh, how they used to play cowboy. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Mike, for the information. And we're going to continue our tour through the Cowboy Hall of Fame. We've had a wonderful time looking at the galleries and playing cowboy. Now we're going to take a trip to a wonderful residential property here in Oklahoma City. Let's go see it. stepped into an historic Oklahoma stone home. Built in 1932, this home has over 3,200 square feet, five beds, three baths on a fully fenced corner lot. This home has everything. Look at this kitchen, a commercial gas stove, a breakfast nook, a formal dining room, and it all opens to the living room. Upstairs, you'll find the primary bedroom, a wonderful place to relax. There's a large bathroom, and look at that shower. It's a wonderful oasis away from the busy world. As you can see, Oklahoma City embodies culture and peaceful living. Next time you fly over our great state, think about visiting OKC. It's never too late to say, I should have been a cowboy. For American Dream TV, I'm Cheryl Pickens, and I look forward to seeing you soon.